Okay, so I've made this, this user called web um, that works in the local host. It has the power to select, insert, update, and delete um, within tables of my database. And now I'm going to use that user I created to make a login for my actual database so I can make um, a site based on this thing. So I've got a folder called Things Project. I got a little folder for images. I found myself a book and a soda image. Um, and now I want to make a file that will allow other web pages to log into this thing. So I'm literally going to call it login.php. And open this up, and we're going to write some PHP in this thing. All right, so I'm going to my PHP tags. Okay, I'm going to use this file to make a function um, called dbconnect. I've just chosen this name because that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm connecting to a database. Um, and I'm going to give this guy my login credentials to use. So let's write them out. So the host for this thing is going to be localhost. Okay. And the username oops, is web. And these are the values that I set up when I created the user in the database. And password, if I could type, is Wooten. And the database we're going to access with this is called Things. Um, to show you where I got that, here's my database. It's over here. That's the name of the database. Things, all lowercase. Okay. So I've got those variables set up. Um, here's what I want to do. I want to ask it to connect, and I want to save the result of that connection attempt. So I'm going to save it in a thing called result. And I'm going to connect with this function. It's called my SQLI underscore connect, and then it needs those four variables in that order. So it needs the host, the username, the password, the database. Okay, so it's going to connect, try to make a connection to my database, um, and now various things could cause it to fail, so I have to check to make sure it worked. So I'm going to say if my SQLI connect, error, no. So if it fails, I'm going to have an error message. Failed to connect my SQL. And then I'm going to actually have it put out the specific problem, um, which is my SQL. I connect error. And it will tell me what the error was. And then I'm also going to do this thing, um, this is the word exit. Why is that coming up? Oh, stupid keyboard shortcuts in this program. Can't click an X. Excellent. Ridiculous. Is there an X on this page? I can see it from yes. It's kind of this guy. Exit, which will uh, kill the rest of the page from loading. Because if I can't connect, I don't want to try to mess with the rest of my page. Um, I could do other various things there, but for right now I'm going to kill it. Um, and if, if it's successful, I'm actually just going to return the result, and I'm going to use that to do some other things with um, in a different page. So literally, this is just trying to establish the connection. If it fails, it'll print out a message. If it succeeds, it gives control back to wherever we're going. So let's make a little page here. Um, let's call it... Uh, Show things. Okay. And I could put a bunch of HTML and whatever else on this page, but for right now, I'm just going to put the PHP and we can make it look good later. Okay. Um, so the first thing I need to do is ask it to get my login file. And I'm going to do that with the command require once. Um, that way this page will not continue to, to proceed if that failed to grab that file. Okay, and then I'm going to ask it to make the connection. So I have the variable that I'm going to set equal to a call to the function I wrote inside that other file. And so from now on, um, whatever this guy sends back is now stored in here. So it's the result of the connection. So this is literally my link to the connection to the database. Okay, and then I can run some kind of query or something. Um, but actually, I'm going to stop right here and see if this works and see if I get any error messages. And let's go back and just change one little thing here. Um, 
Well, actually, no. We'll leave it. Okay. So let's open this page and see if I get any error messages. Okay. This is my things project. It's my show things file. No error messages. Let me go flub something so you can see what it would look like if it, if it failed. So say I was in here and I accidentally put the wrong password in. I left the N off Wooten. And this guy would give me these this list of problems that are happening. Um, access denied because I have the wrong password. So let me go back and fix it. And we're all good. So that is how you make a connection to a particular database so you can query it.